Still haven't heard from the other man who shot the gunman and later helped chase him down, but his cousin, Ken Leonard, is joining me on his behalf. Ken is also a friend of the guest pastor who was killed in that shooting. So, um, Ken, thank you so much for being with me, and my heart just goes out to, you know, obviously your family in this community that, that is reeling. So thank you so much for taking a moment with me today. Thank you for having me. So let's start with your cousin, uh, who I know is like a brother to you. And it's my understanding that, he, you know, he had heard there had been an attack at the church early, early on. Can you tell me how he knew so quickly? Um, when I talked to him, he said that he heard, he heard gunfire and uh, he's, uh, he knows about guns and he knows what a gun sounds like. And his daughter had actually gone to go see what was going on in her car. She came back and told her father that there was a man in black that was shooting people at the church. So Stephen uh, went into his safe, grabbed his, uh, grabbed his AR, uh, which is AR-15, the same style weapon that the shooter was using, grabbed a handful of ammo and a magazine and was running barefooted toward the shooting uh, he said he, he was loading the magazine as fast as he could. He didn't even know how many rounds he had put in the magazine. Mm. When he got there, the guy had come outside, and it seemed that to him that he was reloading outside. And he saw that the guy was wearing uh, uh, body armor, and there was a Velcro strap from the back to the front. And he knew from that that the man had front and back body armor and that the vulnerable spot was going to be in the side. And so that's where he shot him the first time. That's where uh, he got him. After he sh that's where he got him the first time. Uh, the man dropped the weapon when he was shot and went and forced his way into an SUV that uh, a guy just happened to be nearby. And he pushed him into the passenger side. As he was doing that, Stephen shot him again in the neck. Uh, and then he forced his way into the car, turned around and returned fire and shot two rounds through the back of the SUV. And that's when Stephen shot him a third time in the neck again. Oh my um, goodness. He then went to the guy named Johnny that you interviewed and said, that guy just shot up the church and Johnny said, I saw everything, let's go. And so Stephen got in the, got in the vehicle with him and they took off uh, and chased him and, uh, at a high rate of speed. And eventually the guy went through an intersection into a field and came to a stop. Uh, Stephen went up and made sure uh, he got the passenger first to get on the ground because at that point he wasn't sure whether he was part of it or he was innocent, but he, sure. he made sure he wasn't a threat, but made sure he was safe at the same time. Sure. Then went around to the driver's side and yelled at the driver to get out of the car. And when he went up to the car, he saw that the man was already dead.